Hi everyone, Got Got Joy, Got Got Joy's Kitchen. Today I'm, uh, I've got a big crowd coming tomorrow, so one of the, my main things if I'm having a crowd is usually potato salad, and I'm sure we make it, most of us make it about the same way. And as you see, let me cut my way, I just got my potatoes out of the pot, and I use, I cut my potatoes about this size. It's just seems like the right one size for me. And while the it's still hot like this, I like to go ahead and add my salt and my pepper and some of my spices. Uh, of course, it's steaming up my glass. I'm putting uh, two tape. I'm gonna go ahead and put a whole tablespoonful in because it's a lot to go. And I also use celery salt in mine. I put that in it. And celery seed, the opposite. Celery salt and celery seed are both of them. And let me stir that up. I love potato salad. Uh, everybody seems like that's a staple anymore, isn't it? When you go to someone's house, it's potato salad. I've already done my eggs. Now, I, we like a lot of eggs in ours, and I always do one egg per potato. I did eight potatoes, so I've got eight eggs to do. And, right, I add celery, onions. It's a cup of celery, a cup of onions, because this is a pretty big amount of potato salad. And pepper. I'm going to go with a teaspoon of pepper. You can only tell it when it's got the uh, celery seed in it. And I add two tablespoons of sugar and two tablespoons of vinegar. It sort of cancels each other out, but it does give it a, a real good flavor. It's a sour flavor and <laughs> sugary. But you can't, I mean, you couldn't pick it out from it. Now, let's straighten that up. This is my mother's recipe, so I always enjoy using it. And this is about a half a cup of salad cubes. I don't like um, relish. I think the cubes are better. Uh, to me, relish is just too thin. It's almost gets lost in it, I guess. I, I may even put some more uh, relish, I mean, some more pickle cubes in there. Okay. Now, this is my um, pimentos. I've already drained them, so I just put them in there. I always put pimentos in there. It's just for the color of nothing else. Plus, I love pimentos. And of course, our mustard. I usually just guess at it, but for, for today, I'll measure. <laughs> I've always been a go for it kind of person. My mother was, she never could write a recipe down because she always, it was a pinch of this and a type of pinch of that or something like that. So I guess I sort of followed after her. And sort of, I, if I do write down a recipe, it's, well, it's a new mustard and sometimes a little bit I, hard to get started. Let's go with one tablespoon. We'll put two. Well, shoot. I'll do it the easy way. My 
My dad used to love uh, a lot of mustard in his potato salad. Okay, let's put our eggs in. I just sort of dice my lap. I uh, always put my eggs in the refrigerator for about two weeks so that they're, when I boil them, they just slide right off. Yeah, it's very hard for uh, to peel an egg that's fresh. And I used to get caught up in that at Easter, but I've learned my lesson on that. I always buy my eggs early, let them set for two weeks, and then I never have any trouble. They just slide right off. And then I put them in a, pour, a pot and let them boil for about five minutes and put a top on the pot and let them set for another 15. And it's just, they, you can see they come out just perfect. For me, anyway. <laughs> I love it when I, this time of the year when it's getting pretty and people come. I'm a cook and I love to cook for anyone. As long as I can fix the meal. Fix the meal. Yeah. Okay, now we're down to the mayo. And this is a guessing game, of course. I'm going to start with about a cup. And then we go from there. had a few um, roasted peppers I was going to put in there too to give it a pretty flavor. That was the last of the bottle. So I thought, well, add them to it. You know, let's get it going. <laughs> the, only, I, the only thing about roasted peppers to me is they roast them and they've got a little pieces of black in them. I'm always afraid someone's going to think there's dirt, it's dirt in it, but it's just the roasted of the, the roasted peppers, and they are just wonderful. They're just absolutely wonderful. A lot of people don't like to try little things like that, but I do. I'm willing. Let me see. Which pep got enough stuff in it. Well, I probably could use a little bit more salt, but I'm not going to put it in right now. Because a lot of people don't have, they can always add salt, but you sure can't take it away. Get my bowl. Now, I'll put this in the refrigerator, cover it, put it in the refrigerator tonight. And before I go to church in the morning, I will come in here and uh, taste it. It may need a little bit more mayonnaise. Or it may need, if at that time, the salt should show up and uh, we can decide then. But see, that made a great eight potatoes, eight eggs. And. Just a few in. You got a big bowl of potato salad. Now I am one of those old fashioned people. I do like a little paprika on top of it. Why not? It just makes it pretty. So, 
And that is my potato salad. Let me taste it. I've already tasted it though, having it to make sure everything was in it. Yep. Well, that's one of my side dishes down. I've got a couple more to go. I do like to do things the day before so you don't have to get up and do so much on Sunday morning before church because I love to go to church. So it's been a good day. I hope you make potato salad soon. It's easy as a pie, you know that. So have a good week. It's a beautiful it's beautiful. Be thankful. Right now things are still not where they should be. Just keep us all in your prayers. Ring the bell. Subscribe. Remember the joy and we'll see you soon.